Oh, hi, let me give you an update. We were in court for five days today at the Federal Court of Canada, and I want to tell you all about it. It was a sequel to our successful hearing last October. You might recall that the leaders' debates in Canadian elections, they used to be done by media companies, but then Justin Trudeau, for some weird reason, nationalized them and set up a government debates commission. Well, the rationale was immediately apparent when he banned any conservative journalist, banned two journalists from Rebel News and banned a journalist from True North, banned us on the very last day before the debate. So we rushed to court with an emergency application the day of the debates, and incredibly, we won. We got an injunction forcing Trudeau's Debates Commission to let us in. And we did some of the best reporting there. In fact, here's a question that our reporter Kian Begsty did um, that was a real premonition to this week when Trudeau lost the UN Security Council vote. So here's Kian in that leaders debate that Trudeau tried to ban him from. Hi, Mr. Trudeau. Since your multiple use of blackface became an international scandal, Canada's international reputation has been irrepar irreparably harmed. Have you reached out to any African leaders or any leaders from the Middle East to apologize for your conduct? Canada will continue to engage in a positive, constructive way around the world, standing up for human rights, uh, engaging uh, with leaders right around the world, because we know that uh, promoting our values and uh, prosperity for everyone around the world is good for Canadians and creates better opportunities for everyone. So that didn't answer the question at all. Have you spoken to any African leaders or leaders from the Middle East to apologize for your personal conduct? Uh, I have continued to engage with leaders around the world in a responsible way during an election campaign. My focus is connecting with Canadians, as I was able to tonight. And I was very pleased to see so many of the questions turn to the environment. Uh, in all sections, there was a clear contrast uh, between those on stage who don't think we should be fighting climate change uh, and those of us who do. And again, we are the only party with a clear plan to fight climate change. Anyways, it was amazing back then in October, but we didn't want to just get in that one day. We wanted a whole judicial review of how we were blacklisted in the first place. And we wanted to reform the system because that debate commission is still around and with a minority government in Ottawa, we could have an election anytime. In fact, there's speculation there'll be one this year. So we're applying to have a formal judicial review. Remember back in October, we just had a hasty trial can we get in right now? We didn't have a proper going through of all the documents and who did what and who decided what. So that's what today's hearing was about. Now, we weren't actually physically at the federal court because of the pandemic. The court hearing was done via Zoom, which is like Skype. It's a webcam system. So we all sort of watched from our different offices. There were at least four lawyers for Justin Trudeau from the Debates Commission, from Justice Canada, the Attorney General. Uh, you might recall that in our October half-day trial, Trudeau racked up $131,000 in legal fees that he just made taxpayers cover. I can only imagine how much money Trudeau is spending trying to stop us now. We, of course, have to crowdfund our own lawyers, and you can help us out with that at LetUsReport.com. But let me give you a quick update of the three parts of today's hearing. The first part was an outrageous application by Trudeau's Debate Commission to have a whole judicial hearing dismissed. It's just not important anymore, they said, because actually we got into the debate last year, so isn't it moot now? Well, of course not, because we have to make sure we set things right for that next debate. And the Debates Commission has not learned its lesson yet. They think they did nothing wrong. They will censor again. We need a proper judicial review. So that was the part of the hearing this morning. The second part of the hearing was our friends at True North. They want to bring a charter challenge to the way we were handled. It was a violation of the Charter's protection of freedom of the press. Incredibly, not only does the debate commission, Trudeau's debate commission oppose that, so does the attorney general. They actually say that having a charter argument is some sort of a trick or scheme. They said that today. It was incredible. And the third part of the hearing in the late afternoon was our motion asking for the judge to compel the Debates Commission to disclose their internal records, how they came to their outrageous decision to censor us in the first place. And it all turns on this email. This is the two-line message we received telling us we were banned from the debate. 
except for, as you can see, it wasn't sent from the debate commission. It was sent from the parliamentary press gallery. That's a group of our rival reporters, all on the bailout, all uniformed journalists, they're the worst. Um, this little club of reporters, why would some reporters club be sending us a ruling that we're not allowed to attend a government debate? How does that even make sense? So we wanted to see all the conversations between the alleged decision makers at Trudeau's Debates Commission and the reporters who actually said, you guys can't come. And the Debates Commission is fighting that vehemently. They don't want to show us the actual communications and discussions before we were nixed. Even the judge herself said, so who made the decision and when was it made? It was so confusing because it's a secret. That's why this case is so important. Look, it's one thing for rival journalists to be catty and secretive, whatever. But when the government seeks to rule who can or can't do reporting, and it keeps its shenanigans secrets, well, that just won't do. That's why this judicial review is so important. Yes, we won the day last October, and Kean and David Menzies and Andrew Lawton of True North did great reporting. But that was only the first battle. The big battle is yet to come. I don't know how today's court hearing went. We won't know for weeks, maybe even a month. The Trudeau Liberals are throwing everything they have at this. Like I say, I counted four lawyers working for Trudeau on the call today. There were surely more behind them. I think it's likely that Trudeau spent at least half a million dollars of taxpayers' money funding us today because he does not want to have to disclose how he decided and how he went about banning his enemies in the media. And the reason he doesn't want this to proceed is exactly the reason why it must. If you want to help us with our lawyers, who are a fraction of the cost of Trudeau's, but we still have to pay them, please go to LetUsReport.com. It's very simple. We are fighting for our own right to report, but the precedents we set in this case will apply to everyone. Just like the application by True North to make this a charter case, if we win, that will set a precedent of freedom, and it'll push back the censors and the deplatformers. If you can, please go to Let usreport.com and chip in whether it's 10 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever you can. Right now we are the only people in court, us and our friends at True North, fighting against Justin Trudeau's censorship. And that's perhaps the worst part of the day. In the past, if one journalistic enterprise was censored or blacklisted by the government, every other news company would be there in court, all for one and one for all. Other than us and True North, there was not a single media company in court today because they're fine with censorship because they're all on Trudeau's payroll now with his bank bailout. Well, you know what? It's 100 to 1. Whatever the odds, we'll fight it because we've got you on our side. If you can help us, go to LetUsReport.com and I will tell you the instant we hear the judge's ruling. Thanks for your help, everybody. Now let's go fight for freedom. We were in court for a five-hour hearing today, taking on Justin Trudeau and his hand-picked debates commission that censors conservative journalists. I think this is probably dollar for dollar the best way we can fight against Trudeau in court right now. If you can help, please go, please go to LetUsReport.com.